Hey everybody, this is Laura with Jot and Tittle Vintage Typewriters. Welcome today. I decided to do an updated video for an Electra 220. This is a fantastic workhorse and um, so I wanted to do a, a new instructional video on it. My personal opinion is um, everybody needs a typewriter like this. If you are an active writer, there are at least two typewriters you need minimum. One, a really good manual that you just, it's like your delight, you love it. It's your personality, you connect with it. The other is just a workhorse like um, this Electra 220. And the reason is sometimes you wanna get on and you wanna write, but you wanna ponder your words, you wanna, it's like a good first draft a manual typewriter is where you wanna type slowly, you wanna chew on your words, you really wanna process your words. That's what I love a manual typewriter for. But then an electric such as this one, sometimes you've got ideas just like flying out of your head and you don't want that distraction of a computer, but you don't want to be slowed down by your manual. And so something, a workhorse like this Electra 220, any of the Electra series are um, fantastic in my opinion. Um, something like this where you can just pump out the words and the pages and um, you're still using a typewriter but you're flying through and that is my opinion on that and this is one that I would recommend for that but let's take a look at how to use it now if you're somebody that you have one that you found it and you're not sure how to use it get yours out right now um, pause if you need to open it up follow along make sure it's plugged in it has to be plugged in and also no it's not missing a handle it is missing a handle but it's supposed to be that way it has a power return on it now for those of you who are like what is the difference between the 220 the 120 um the 210 and the 110 um the 200 series for the electra has a power return the 100 series has a handle um, the, so that's what the 200 part is. Now the 20 part means it's got an extended carriage. Um, we say 12 inch carriage. It's actually a 15 inch by the time you, you know, measure it from handle to handle, but from like here to here, it's a 12 inch carriage. Um, the 110 and the 210 have a 10 inch carriage. Um, so that's what that means. Okay. Let's go ahead and, um, We'll start from the back as always, but I also want to, and I know it's cut off a little bit. Sorry about that. That's just how it is. Um, <clears throat> I was going to say something. Oh, oh, oh. These are really heavy. So um, if you're going to get this for kids, I mean, it's a great kids typewriter, but it's not something that they are going to be able to carry around. This is like a stay put, like you have a family table, which needs to be a sturdy table, by the way. Um in the house where you're gonna have like this family typewriter. That's what this is for. It needs to kind of stay in place because it's it's almost 30 pounds. Well, it's probably about 25, 26 pounds. Um, so it's not something you're gonna wanna um, be able to lift and carry um, around. Um, also, it um, because it's electric and because it has a power return, it really has a powerful return. So it's going to jiggle your table, which is why you want a sturdy table because it's going to be like ka-chunk, ka-chunk, you know. Um, but it's also going to scooch your typewriter like nobody's business, which is this big boy is probably one of the reasons why we developed the non-slip typewriter pad. I mean, all the typewriters scooch a little bit, but these electrics with a power return, they like throw themselves across your table practically. So the non-slip typewriter pad is so helpful. It's not going to fully eliminate the scooching because it's pretty darn powerful, but it's really going to help it. So that's just my um, personal opinion. And if you need a, there's a, a link to our website below that where you can purchase the non-slip typewriter pads. Okay, back here, paper holder, okay, carriage, carriage release, both sides right here. And so when you release that carriage, it's going to pull to the left, and that's the draw band that's pulling that tension. Um, and so you want to kind of hold on to your carriage. There's your bell. The bell's going to go off when you hit your margin. My margin's set right here on the right, and you can move it by pushing down and, and just 
scooching it, sliding it. Okay, either side, left and right. So you do have to set your margins. Um, this is a paper bar holder, whatever. Um, obviously, you've got your hand roller handles. On this side, you'll notice that this handle has a little button on it. And when you turn this handle, you can hear the click. But when you press this in, it's like no clicking. So it's like a variable spacing. So when you turn this, it's like every half of a line. And sometimes you're like, I want like right in between it. And so you just press that line up your paper exactly where you want it and then release. Also on this left side, you'll see a one, two, or three. And that is a line selector. And here's the little knob for that. And you just put it where you want it, okay? Um, there is a paper guide right here. If you wanna use it, most of the time I just keep it out of the way, but some people like to use their paper guides. Over on the right side, here you have your paper release, which we'll show that here in just a moment. And there's some other little smaller things, but unless you're really repairing your typewriter and doing stuff like taking it apart, you don't really need to know about those. And I can't tell you about them, my husband could, but I can't. So here's your ribbon area, um, escapement area. This is your basket, like your type bar basket. These are called type bars right here. Um, this does take a two color ribbon. Um, black and red is standard, but there are other colors out there. I've seen several colors on Etsy. So, I mean, have fun with your colors. If you just need a standard ribbon for your typewriter, you can visit us at jotandtittletypewriters.com. And we do have some uh, ribbon options down there for you. Now, when you load it, make sure black is on top and red is on bottom. Thread it through this guide wire here and this guide wire here. Take, um, and you're going to want to uh, kind of follow the photo I have of this area when you're threading your ribbon. You can find a photo of this, this place right here, this close-up. What am I trying to say? I don't know. Um at the product listing link that's in the description below just save that image for your own personal preference uh help whatever and i'll lift it up so you can kind of see and if you need to pause and look you can okay um but there's each typewriter is a little bit different the slit on this one is kind of on the top so you're going to have to shimmy it down in there now it's really messy changing out the ribbon so please beware do not wear a white shirt or um, have anything that's really important around because it's gonna get stained. Um, and then these just pop up and out, okay? Just make sure it's all the way down in there and then, see, I'm gonna get my fingers dirty, put it in there. And it does, see, it's already on there. It doesn't take much. There's a lot of ink in this ribbon where that's, um, that's a really good point because when you, when you get to the end of the spool, you need to reverse the direction because that's not the end of the ink. There's so much ink in there, you'll just have to go back and forth. And the way you reverse your spool is, oh my gosh, I'm all crooked here now. Right here is a button that says ribbon reversal or rib rev, and that's how you manually reverse it. And, there's, um, But yes, some ribbons have this little metal grommet and if that's the case, it'll auto reverse and you don't have to worry about it. Woo, yay! Um, a lot of ribbons do not have the grommet on it. And so um, you will have to manually reverse them. And it ha this has nothing to do with the typewriter, has everything to do with the ribbon. Okay. All right. Let's look at the keyboard here. You have your tab um, set and clear. This is. Um, your power return, margin release. And I'm gonna turn this on and we're gonna go through each one, but I'm gonna point them out. Margin release, color selector, power button, shift, shift over here, shift lock to release it. Doesn't matter which one. Backspace, backspace does not erase. Ribbon reversal. Copy set, that just determines how hard your type bars strike your paper. You can just kind of play around with that. You have a half space, a regular space, and a power space. This is the original gray color. These come in multiple colors. 
the browns, the blues, um, grays. This one happens to be in really good condition. Okay, let's go ahead and um, turn this on and I am going to show you. Well, before I type, because everybody asks about this, here's a, an example of my typing demo sheet. But let's go ahead and I am going to show you how these different functions work. All right, so it's loaded. And um, <clears throat> as with all electric typewriters, my recommendation is when you turn it on, let it run for a few seconds just so that that motor is going. Now, every once in a while, there is a motor. You'll hear a hum, but you won't hear like the motor turning. And if you open your top, the... Um, motor is right here and you can kind of see it. I'm going to turn it off so you can see it stop. So sometimes when you turn on a typewriter you'll hear the motor humming but this isn't turning. All you have to do is come over and kind of tap it and it'll it'll start turning on you and so that's just a tip in case um, the motor doesn't engage. Sometimes and especially it can happen if you're not you haven't used your typewriter in a long time that motor may not engage so um just tap it and it'll start turning on you um okay turn it back on so like i said this is a power return so you just hit that and um make sure you have no coffee mugs or anything breakable anywhere near the carriage um sad to say i have lost a few pieces okay here is your tab, and I'm going to show you how to set your tab. So right now, let's see where it's set. There it is. I'm going to hit clear, return, and it should have cleared it, so it cleared it. And I don't know if you can tell how much my table is jiggling. All right, so now let's set a tab. We'll power space over. I'm going to set it right here by just pressing and then there it is, it's set. So that's how you do it. Now, if yours happens to have a whole bunch of like tabs and you don't wanna sit there and clear every single one, you can do an all clear by holding down clear, releasing your carriage, and I just go back and forth a couple times. And then there you go, all clear. Um, <clears throat> your margin really, um, let's see, oh, this is your line selector, so when I hit that power return, right now it's only advancing a single line, but I can change it to a double or a triple if I want. There are three keys on an electric typewriter that have an auto repeat if you hold them down, and that's gonna be a dash, an X, and a period. Do with that as you wish. Um, you've got your half space, Regular space, power space, um, the margin release is for when you're typing and you get to the end of the margin but you want to finish your word, it's going to, when you hit the margin, it's going to stop on you. So MR to margin release, I'm going to finish my word, hit the return and then I can keep So um, the Electra 220 is excellent for fast typists, really excellent for fast typists. Um, it's an office machine. Oops, hit one. Very sensitive too. Uh, remember backspace does not erase, it just backspaces. And um, I think that's it. Um, I, I can't imagine anybody not needing like a 60s or 70s electric typewriter. They're just one of those that are, it's like, it's very practical. And it's not something that you're gonna love it for its beauty, or, you know, anything aesthetic wise, and you're not gonna wanna show it off necessarily on your, on your table or your shelf. But um, when you wanna get work done, and you wanna get it done quickly, and you don't wanna have to deal with your computer, this is a great baby. All right, thanks so much. See you later.